John Masara has a great relationship with leading Japanese breeders such as Katsumi Yoshida and that's led to an ever burgeoning legacy in Australia as the Japanese blood blends so well with the Danehill saturated broodmare herd. Admire Mars is the latest Japanese star to strut his stuff around the Arrowfield stud parade ring and his foals are receiving huge accolades just like Dad. Admire Mars! Admire Mars wins the NHK Mile Cup from Cadence School. Well, we're halfway through the 2022 breeding season and here at Arrowfield Stud, there's been such a great relationship with Japan and the wonderful Japanese thoroughbreds. We're here to see Admire Mars and his first foals too, but it's a relationship that goes back a long time. It sure has. Uh, back in the late 1990s, uh, Arrowfield played very close attention to the breeding in, in Japan and they sent mares to Sunday Silence. Uh, fast forward 25 years and we're seeing now how you know they're winning Group One races. The Japanese bred horses are winning Group One races in every major racing jurisdiction. It's Admire Mars and Mirko Demuro scores. And Admire Mars, of course, we know him as a fabulous race horse, a triple Group One winner. But looking at him here now, his second season at Arrowfield, he's just an absolute bull, isn't he? And he's got that real charisma of a horse like Morris as well, who we know has Mazu as one of the elite sprinters here. But tell me what you see when you look at him, second season in. He's really let down beautifully. He's matured into a gorgeous physical. He's got a great depth, huge engine there, he, room for his engine and beautiful hind quarter. He's just a beautifully balanced horse and a very clean legged horse. And you know, just throws a lot of quality into his stock. Well, the foals are just gorgeous. I mean, all foals are, we, we know that, but a look to them that shows that they are built to be racehorses. And this little filly from a mare called Legend Emma, the dam's by Lope de Vega from a Galileo mare, so again, best blood in the world too. A good moving foal and a nice size too, but, but he really stamps them, and not just by colour. Absolutely. The apple hasn't fallen far from the tree here in this instance and um, hasn't the mare done a magnificent job. You know, she's a first foal. Uh, she's a very athletic filly, very uncomplicated. You know, reports from the stud manager are they're very clean-legged horses and, you know, we're delighted with what we've seen so far. Then we look at the filly. This is from Adam Mina. She was stakes placed and by Snitzel, of course, your own four-time champion Australian sire from the Demerger family that just keeps getting winners in stakes races as well. A beautiful foal. Again, that striking chestnut, lovely, tall, well put together foal. But again, we're seeing, which is what we've seen be so, be so successful, is that the Danehill blood, the Snitzel redoots. This is just such a great outcross. Yeah, absolutely. And Admire Mars is a complete outcross to the Danehill line mares. We, which we have an abundance of here at the farm. And his sire, Dawa Major, has actually worked very well with the Danehill line um, mares. We've seen how well Morris has gone with, you know, he had six stakes placed two-year-olds in his first crop. Well, a horse who's particularly precocious like Admire Mars, he's been mated to a mare who, like this one, is placed in the widden. There's no reason they can't get up and go early like this filly looks like. from a mare called Lady Legend by your own champion sire, Redoute's Choice. And this is just such a playful filly. She just has so much spunk about her. And I thought when we were watching him parading too, Admire Mars has a great personality. Like he has, he, he looks as if he's, he's pretty full of himself. And this filly is a chip off the old block. A lot of character. And I think, you know, it's not surprising. He himself has a lot of character. He's got a lot of spunk. He's a, a pleasure for the boys. He's got a bit of X factor about him and a lot of, you know, great presence. He's throwing that into his stock and, you know, they're a little live wires. They're loving their life so far in the spring. You know, when you look the way she does, why wouldn't you want to show off? And again, just to refresh people about his sire, Daiwa Major, he is a son of Sunday Silence. It doesn't, that is the best blood. Yes, he was a two-time champion sprinter miler. 
He was a champion first season sire. He was a champion second season sire. And he's been a top 10 sire in Japan for the last decade. And the great indicator of, of these early or young stallions in Japan is how they sell. Their first crop foals. Because those foal sales are incredible over there and so important for their industry. And he sold phenomenally well. They certainly did. They averaged 810,000 Australian. His top price was 1.5 million Australian for a, a colt. So it gives us a great vote of confidence that he's getting types in Japan. He's certainly getting them here, what we've seen so far. So we look forward to any of the weaning sales going forward next year and, of course, the yearling sales the year after. And he's elite amongst the stallions standing in Australia this season as a stallion just with his first foals. He's an underfitted two-year-old. He's a three-time Group 1 winner. He's an outcross to our Dane Hill Line mares and he's the only horse at those credentials to be standing at an unbelievable price point at $22,000. I mean, what's not to like about him? And importantly too, I mean, you know, there's so much heart and soul in this business, isn't there? I mean, he's just such a beautiful horse. He's so easy to, to kind of fall in love with. It's great to see him here as part of the Arrowfield um, Stallion roster. Well, it certainly is a privilege to be able to stand him, like it is Morris. Um, being able to stand these such elite race horses, um, he's a beautifully bred individual. He's a great looking horse and people see him, you know, where they're loving what they see and, and it's a real honour to be able to offer staying such as Admire Mars here in Australia. Mm -hmm.